have access to the 2D drafting workspace. If you have a pro license, you will have access to the 2D drafting and 3D modeling workspace and so on. Uh, when starting BrickSCAD and opening the drafting workspace, uh, you will see the Get Started dialog or the Get Started window, some tutorials and sample files and some applications. And let me just start with opening a, a new drawing. Um, the first thing that you want to do when you're showing BrickSCAD for the first time to a prospect is just focus on the fact that the user interface and the user experience is super compatible and uh, user-friendly for existing CAD users. So the ribbon uh, looks very similar. The same concepts of properties and layers and attachments is used. The command line with the same commands and command aliases. Uh, so the exact same look and feel of what you would expect from a CAD uh, product. Um, and of course, it's all WG. So very important to mention that as well. As I mentioned, same commands and uh, command aliases that you can use. So drawing a line, for instance, is as easy as that. Um, now, one big difference that's very important to mention for the BricsCAD Lite license is that we do support Lisp routines uh, in BricsCAD Lite, as opposed to AutoCAD LT, which does not support Lisp. We do. So I'll just switch to a drawing here, a Lisp example. And just to show to the customer that it, it is supported, uh, it's always good to show it live. So I can open the development environment for Lisp. It's called Blade. Um, and I have here a Lisp routine that was actually downloaded from an AutoCAD forum. Uh, and that we can just load straight into BricsCAD and it works as, it, as you would expect. So I'll just load this into BricsCAD. And basically what this Lisp routine does is it allows me to project to the geometry from one reference frame to another. So I'll just uh, type in the command. And the command line feedback tells me to select a reference frame, a destination frame. Uh, so as you can see, the Lisp routine works properly as you would expect uh, in AutoCAD as well. So it's very important to mention that it's supported in BricsCAD Lite as well. Um, now next to compatibility and user interface and the support of Lisp, it's also important to focus on the fact that we keep innovating even in 2D, even in a, a light license, we still keep innovating. Um, and as examples of that, you can show, for instance, the move guided command, blockify command, and so on. So the move guided, uh, basically what it does is it moves objects along guide curves. If you haven't already seen this. Um, so it can be very useful for, in this case, doors in a, in a wall can be used for any kind of application, as long as there's some sort of linear object that can be used as guide curves. Same goes for copy guided. As you can see, it will snap to, to geometry where it finds similar guide curves. It can also be used to remove objects. Uh, for instance, if I want to remove this window from in this wall, uh, in a classic CAD approach, I would have to delete this and maybe join these two lines together, but that's kind of a pain. So you can use uh, the move guided command to simply take away this window and the lines and hatches will be repaired automatically. I cannot throw this away. So even uh, in 2D uh, in a software that seems to have reached its peak uh, in terms of capabilities and features, we still keep innovating. Um, another example you can show uh, to prove this is the blockify command and the parametric block. So I'll first start off with the blockify command. Uh, if you haven't already seen this, basically it allows you to um, automatically recognize geometry in your drawing that is re uh, repeated and create block references from them. So in this case, we have this chair, which consists of just polylines. Um, they're not grouped together or anything, they're not blocked. 
but we have a lot of repetition of these kinds of chairs. So Blockify allows me to take one source group entities, select an insertion point, select a search space. I will just search in the entire drawing. Specify a block name. And as you can see, there are 23 block inserts of this type found. And it replaced all of these uh, all of these uh, repetitions by this block definition. Uh, very powerful. And what's even more powerful is that we can turn these blocks uh, in turn into parametric blocks. So it's quite important.